Hi guys, I'm Shelly. First of all, for those of you who like to see eye contact in a video, I can only apologise for these things. I'm currently dealing with some visual problems. Um, my eyesight in my right eye especially has gone completely looney tunes. I'm really quite photosensitive, so you're stuck with these things throughout this video, I'm afraid. Hopefully, next time you see me, I will have nice shiny new glasses. Don't get too excited now. We shall see if Andy Clare works. Probably not, but hey, I just finished a book all the way through reading or listening. Some things have been going through my mind and I thought I'd talk to you about it. It's called Moving by Jenny Eclair, who is a brilliant writer and stand-up comic. She's one of the grumpy old women and I love her. It's about a woman named Rowena. She is living in a large kind of Victorian style, I think it's three-leveled house. She's got to be in like her 80s or her 90s and she can't cope. It's getting on top of her, it's full of stuff, she can't make it up the stairs. She has nestled herself in the basement and she's starting to realise that she needs to leave. And she has called in the estate agent. And we go chapter by chapter for the first, I'd say half of the book, through her house and through her memories and through her things from her point of view. First of all, it's extremely funny. You've got this 80 year old woman showing a 20 year old estate agent around her house. Jenny Claire is a very witty and clever writer, especially when she's writing for an older woman, because ugh, just the sarcasm of the feeling in the bones of being old, I have that feeling. Having EDS uh, basically means that I'm aging a lot or faster than I should, and I feel like a little old woman, especially at the moment with this. But what I found deeply brilliant and moving about this book. What Rowena is finding, what our, our main character is finding, is that because she is older she is forgetting things, as you do, as I am doing at the moment. My memory is, is, is fading rather quickly. So is Rowena's. She is finding as she goes through the rooms that she is remembering things because of not just the rooms but because of the stuff that is in the rooms and this is what's got me thinking. The stuff that we keep against the stuff that we throw away. Rowena is finding she's remembering things she never would have if she hadn't have kept this stuff. The ticket stubs, the baby things, the first time she met the woman who turned out to be her home help, the umbrella stand that they put the umbrella in because it was chucking it down with rain the first time she met her. Bring this woman Rowena who has been bunkered down in her basement for 10 years, it brings her back to life. You find this now with people who have dementia and people who have Alzheimer's and putting them into situations and into rooms with the music that they had when they were younger and alive and vibrant and the clothes and the culture. Suddenly these people light back up again. And it started me to realise that there is a reason that I keep things. Although I would like to live a minimalist lifestyle because clutter just it's everywhere and, and things they just get in my way but the little things that we keep that matter so the things that anchor you to this world and I'm not sure if possession should anchor you to this world because obviously you have your loved ones but you can put something in your hand the physical textile of holding something brings back a visual memory it is like it happened yesterday and would I necessarily remember that if I didn't have this particular thing. And it makes you think about what would you save in a fire? I was actually personally in an experience where there was a house fire and we lost pretty much everything. If there was a fire in your house tomorrow, what would you save? I mean, yes, obviously your loved ones, your pets. Nowadays, is it all on digital? Would we go in and would we save our hard drives? Or would you go in and save a piece of clothing or a book. I mean, if you're watching this and you're a booktuber, more than likely you like your books, you hold your books. But yeah, it's a very funny book and it's really got me thinking, is there an object that, that would just bring back so many memories to you that you want to keep that when you're older, it's just gonna bring you back to life because we're all living longer and the memory's going. And wow, was that morbid? Okay, I will leave you on that nice little morbid note. I hope you guys are good and I will fingers crossed see you guys soon with new glasses. Bye.